We have a system of two exponential equations on the board. We have five to the six X equals 216, and we have six Y equals 49. So what I'm gonna do to start with, I'm gonna actually rewrite the um, equations on the right. So we'll write this one as six cubed, and we'll write this one as seven squared. I think that should help. Oh, and I should say, we're asked, asked to solve x, y. We don't, have to, we don't have to solve for x and y um, independently. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the log of each of these equations on both sides. So for the first equation, we'll have the log of five to six x equals the log of six cubed. And then I'll just take my exponents to the front. So we'll have six x log of five equals three log of six. Then what do I want to do here? Um, let's just divide by six log five on both sides. Okay, so then that cancels and that cancels. And actually, three over six here simplifies to one half. And then what I can do with this log six over log five, if you remember the change of base formula, change of base formula just says log of a, b is the same as log b over log a. But then we can do this in reverse. Right, and so like B is six and A is five. So doing this in reverse, we end up with log base five, six equals X. So that's our expression for X. So I guess they didn't really ask for an explicit, uh, uh, expression just for X, but we have a pretty good one right here. So then let's do the same thing for Y. We'll have log six to the y equals log of seven squared. Again, bring our exponent to the front. We'll have y log six equals two log seven. Um, here, we'll just divide by log of six, divide log of six, cancel so we just have our y on the left side. Then we'll use, again, this rule that we just did here, reversing the uh, change of base formula, and we end up with y equals two log base six, seven. So we have our y. I feel like my pen's starting to run out. Okay. There it is. So then, but the one thing is, okay, we need to solve for x, y, not x or y. So for x, y, we're just gonna multiply these together. We'll have, um, okay, one half. I'm gonna bring the coefficients to the front. So we'll have, we'll do one half and two times two, and we'll have log five, six times, everything's just multiplied together log base six, seven. Two and one half is gonna cancel and just be one. And so we're just left with these two logs here. What I'll do is back to the change of base. We'll do that and we'll rewrite log six. I guess you'd say I should have just left it, right? Maybe, <laughs> probably. Um, but okay, anyway, we'll put it back. And then we'll do the same for this one. And then we get the cancellation, log six cancels with log six. We end up with log seven over log five, but we can rewrite that again, back to the chain. This is kind of, this whole problem is an excuse to use the change of base formula. So I could, re I could erase the board, but I'm just gonna throw it in here. So our final answer for x, y is log base five 
seven. And that's it.